That's not what people wanted. We learned that what people really wanted was about movies, movies, movies. And we weren't delivering that. So we're back with Apple TV Take Two. It still syncs beautifully to your computer if you want, but no computer is required to use Apple TV Take Two. So here's what you can do with Apple TV. You can rent movies directly on your widescreen TV. You don't have to rent them on a computer and move them over. You can rent them directly on your widescreen TV with Apple TV. And you can rent them in DVD quality, and you can rent them in HD with full with Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound. The quality is unbelievable. You can also now view audio and video podcasts right on Apple TV. You can choose from the over 125,000 podcasts in the iTunes podcast directory and see them right on your widescreen TV. Photos, you can get photos from your computer, but you can now go right over the internet and get photos from Flickr and Dot Mac and watch them. And as you know, photos are stunning on a widescreen TV because modern digital cameras are all HD resolution. And of course, YouTube. We've been working with the guys at YouTube for quite some time, and we've expanded the selection. To, oh, there's over 50 million videos that you can now watch on your widescreen TV from YouTube. And this has worked out so great. Our customers love this. You can now buy TV shows and music right on your widescreen TV with Apple TV. And if you are using a computer, it'll automatically sync them right back to your computer. And of course, you can play iTunes content and watch photos directly from your computer if you want to do that. It's even better than the original Apple TV in this regard. So all of this stuff on the new Apple TV. Let me focus in on the HD movies for a minute. As we said, we have library and new release titles, and the library titles are $2.99 and $3.99. Well, in HD, they're just a dollar more. $3.99 and $4.99, you can rent them in HD quality. And we've got over 100 titles in HD today, and this is going to build really fast. We're very, very excited about this. So all of these features and an entirely new user interface. So let me go ahead and show this to you now. This is the new interface for Apple TV. It's got one menu that pops up in the center, movies, TV shows, music, podcasts, photos, YouTube, and settings. It couldn't be simpler. And so let's go into movies. We'll go into top movies here. And this is what the main movie rental screen looks like. The whole thing is centered around the movie rental experience. So I've got some bricks at the top. I can go into comedy classics and look at comedy classics, peruse them if I'd like to. Family Gems, Star Trek. Now, I, love, I love the old Star Trek movies. But let me go down and actually pick a movie. Uh, and. Uh, Let's take a look at Blades of Glory, right? Fun movie. And so, as you can see, I can read a little bit about the movie. I can see the actors, the directors. I have a list of movies that viewers that rented this movie also rented. And I can go down into any one of those if I want to. And, uh, well, not that one. <laughs> Maybe Zoolander. And I could check out Zoolander. And again, I could just go through this over and over if I wanted to. But uh, I want to go back up, and I want to go ahead and preview Blades of Glory. And so I can just push a single button and get a preview for free. The passion. The power. The world of competitive figure skating. You're welcome, Stocko. Jazz Michael Michaels is dead. So you get the idea, right? 
Now, if I want to buy this, or excuse me, rent it, I just go over here and push one button to rent this movie. Here I am. I confirm it. And so I'm starting to rent the movie right now. And uh, I've already rented Live Free or Die Hard in HD. Uh, and now I'm renting Blades of Glory. And it's just downloading. It's going to tell me when it's ready to play. It's ready to play now. And so I can just hit the play button and play it. to chapter two here. Hey, step aside, homeschool. There's a new sheriff in town. There he is, James Outlaw, Chad Michael Mike. Well, this cowboy is cracking his whip on the haunch of this crowd, and they love it. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this is full DVD quality here that I just rented. And uh, it's great. Now, I'm going to show you an HD movie I've already rented here, Live Free or Die Hard, just to give you a, a feeling for the quality. I've already been watching some of this, so we're going to join it midstream. And uh, let's just go take a look at what this is like. Let's play some HD here. So you get the idea. It's very strong. It's very strong. So let's go to genres here. We've got all sorts of genres, G and uh, PG and drama and romance and sci-fi, just to see a few of these things. We even got a Western. And I just want to go ahead and show you what search is like, too. Uh, you can search for things. Again, we're just populating the database. We're ingesting all these movies from the studio and encoding them right now. And uh, it's pretty great. So I want to find uh, Shakespeare in Love. Again, it's a real fast live search. There it is right there. Just go down to it. Boom. And there's Shakespeare in Love. Preview or to rent. So it's that simple. So now, let me go back up. TV shows. Again, I, we've got over 600 TV shows on iTunes that you can buy for $1.99 per episode on Apple TV, watch them, and again, they'll automatically sync back to your PC or Mac. Oops. Music. Again, we've got over 6 million songs in iTunes. You can buy any of them right on your widescreen TV. Uh, and uh, let me go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and search for something here. And uh, I'm going to search for a Linkin Park music video. So there they are right there. I can just go over to Linkin Park. And, uh, Here's a music video I could also buy. Let's preview it. There's no blood, there's no alibi. Cause I've drawn regret from the truth of a thousand lies. So, music, music videos, 